The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbors no particular difficulties. A sprint finish is more than likely. Although our green jersey isn't in danger, it's important to pick up maximum points. We've got what it takes to be in amongst it in the final sprint and finish in the top five. Have a good stage, guys. Go, go. Hello and welcome back to some more Tour de France. This is part 14 of our playthrough. It's obviously going to be a big... Um, a big stage today you know there's a lot of hills in there it says it's a flat stage i disagree with that you got quite a, a an ascent at the start but after that we should be all right so i mean potentially we go in the breakaway with lander or something silly like that just to just to try and risk something here i don't think um sitting back is is going to be the way forward from here i don't think he's got the most energy um, but uh, I think it could well be um, the sort of thing that could inspire us into life so that's exactly what I'm going to do I'm going to go with uh, Mohoric and uh, Lander and we're going to try and take on the world I think but uh, I mean, look at his energy his energy is just so low <sighs> It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Or do we just go for the breakaway with Puels or, or, or somebody like that? Maybe Toynes. Or oh, Mahoric. Let's go with Mahoric. Lander can stay in the, in the peloton. Mahoric can Even get some more polka dot points. Flat, the closing kilometres through that the streets of Lyon won't be to the liking of the sprinters. Given the three urban climbs that await them, it would be surprising if they asked their teammates to manage the gap with the breakaway. The Baradeurs would seem to have a good chance of winning today. We've got enough of a points lead for the polka dot jersey. There's no way we can lose it today. Keep it up! Well, there you go, so not enough points to lose the polka dot jersey today, but we can certainly go a long way towards winning it if we get a few more points in the bag today from the being in that breakaway. Done. They're stepping on the pedal at the front of the peloton. Watch out. You're not going to be able to attack for much longer. We've got a decent lead now. So it's just about chilling. Don't Taking let the counter attack feed. catch up. The peloton won't let such a large group get away. And there we go. So it's all looking good at this, uh, at the front of this breakaway, if you want to call it that, at the moment. You know, it's a one-man breakaway. We need Simon to to catch us up a little bit, otherwise we're going to be in in trouble. But you know, we'll settle for it. So here we are for the first climb of the day. Mahoric has uh, done a great job up top. And you can see he's got a bit of energy left. Um, so just going to follow these guys. Um, the first I don't think either of, the day of them is classified as fourth category. A dangerous. A fairly easy starter for the riders. You are two kilometres from the top. So it's a decent... Uh, a decent climb for us really I don't envisage any great problems for us We've got a minute 45 on the peloton which is good Jingle is apparently the the best puncher but here we come up to the one kilometer line so it's over to us now to try and Increase the pace a little bit. We'd like to get this point. I don't think they'll be too bothered. Other than it would stop us getting another point, I guess. Well, Jingle's gone for it. Apparently, he's the best puncher. Oh, and he did win it. You're not going to be able to keep up this pace for very long. You risk a blow up. 
Well done to Jingle there. And unfortunately for us, we've got another big climb coming. And we've just wasted a bit of energy there. So, maybe try and top up our feeds. Obviously, we've got a, another climb to come, but that's after a bit of a downhill stretch. So, we should have all of our energy back then. And then there's a, there's a feed station after that. So, I'm not that worried about uh, using all of our feeds if we need to. So still got a little bit to go before that that climb. There goes turb step. So I'll see you guys when we get a bit closer to the top the foot of the first major difficulty of the day, the Col de Bial. Given the layout of the stage, it shouldn't play a significant role despite the 12 kilometer climb. Essentially, you're the fastest of the group in a sprint. You must constantly try to shelter from the wind so as not to consume energy. This is what allows a rider to edge clear at the end of the race. Classified as second category, the ascent earns five points for the first rider, three points for the second, two points for the third, and one point for the fourth. So we got two and a half kilometers to go here. You are two kilometers from the top. I think definitely try and win this. Five points would be fairly useful for us. It seem like. Anyone's really gearing up to go for it, so we'll just gradually increase our pace. Jingle again, having a little look. And he actually starts stepping on it. But I think we should have him covered as we come up to the line and we do indeed Watch out. win. You're not going to be able to attack for much longer. There you go, nice and easy. And we got another five points in the bag for uh, Mate Mohoric. I'll tell you what, we've got a decent gap to the peloton. It's not going to be easy to hold it though. But uh, got a feed coming up and then uh, a little climb, which I'll see you for in a second and then a long downhill towards the first sprint of the day. Well, on flat stages, that's not where you see the most drama. You can accelerate forward if you think that nothing important will happen. The next climb is classified as third category. Two and one point available towards the polka dot jersey. So about three kilometers to go up this third class climb. Your breakaway companions look like they want to up the pace. And this is where we can win or lose this stage really for, for the breakaway. We put in a decent pace up here. It could be very, very tough to stop. So I think we probably want to go for it a little bit. There's nobody other than us that are uh, remotely close to the general classification, but we've got a big uh, decline after this, so definitely think it's worth keeping this bit of pace going. The jingle right behind us. Watch out for him. He's the best puncher in the breakaway. But we beat him last time, so every reason to believe we can do that again. Just reduce the pace slightly because we don't need to exert quite as much energy. You can see the finish line there, so look at where that Spanish flag is. Up ahead, not this woman, the next one. The man in the green jersey there. And that's where we're going to start going for it. So here we go. We're going to 
power up to the line. I think Jingle might do this, but he didn't. So there you go. You took the last mountain sprint. That's good. Keep it up. You're strengthening your hold on the polka dot jersey. So I'm through. The worst there. There's only a couple of class four climbs towards the the end of this stage. But other than that, it's pretty much sprint to the finish. It's that sort of unclassified incline, I guess. But it should be all right. Certainly with a group. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. This is from the intermediate sprint. So two and a half kilometers to go until this intermediate sprint with uh, Mahorich. You just want to take the wheel as far as we can go, really. It's a bit of an incline. But now we look after ourselves. We've got just less than a kilometer to go. We're going to go for it. Come on! Come on, Mahorich! Yeah, you beauty. There you we go. You won the intermediate sprint. So, we'll head to Cavendish now, and hopefully he'll be well placed, well and he done. is. So, who else is up here? Bilbao and Caruso, interestingly. So, we'll tell. Well, Caruso's pretty much dead, so Bilbao will tell him to, to increase his tempo and we'll tell Colbrelli to, to go as well. But uh, almost within a kilometre now. And there's Ackerman, he's our big rival for the green jersey. It would be nice to outscore him, it looks like we're pretty much going to. And there you go. 8th place and uh, well Toynes is going to do it we'll tell those two to attack Let's okay. see if they manage it but now wait for the next group same for Cavendish and uh, we'll head back to Mahorich for the rest of the stage need Bilbao to Wait for the next group as well. And there we go. So Caruso, I think, needs his blue gel. Bless him. Okay, I'll consume a feed. I think he needs his red gel as well. Goodness me. You're the best placed on the overall standings in the breakaway. 65 kilometers to go. A little bit of an incline. But, uh... Should be okay, hopefully. Well, he's getting a little bit, a uh, little bit restless, I suppose. Let's go with do not work with opponents and try and stick to the the wheels of them and not use as much energy. But still a bit of a climb to go here. This could be quite tough. Well, we're on the decline, uh, back down that little climb now, and I'll tell you what, Jingle is our man. Me and him have been working together this whole time, or oh, he's been doing most of the work, so we're just going to reap the, the rewards, I think. I'm not sure if we're going to be caught. As we're coming down the, the mountain, we've got... You're not doing your share lead. of the work, and so the others no longer want to ride. Anyway, we're into the final kilometers. We can forget any ideas of cooperation. Uh, why not? Let's it work. Important to Let's work with them for a bit. A breakaway, so that everyone agrees to cooperate. But be careful not to do too much in order to save some strength for the finish. We should be fine. 
There we go. I'm quite happy to cooperate with them now. But uh, I'll see you guys when we get to the next uh, fourth class climb. The Pedaton is one minute away. The gap is decreasing, guys. The Peloton should be there for the stage win. Last time checked with the breakaway. One minute. The breakaway is holding off the Peloton, but it's going to be difficult. Guys, the closing stretch... There are plenty of bends on the road to the road to the road to the road to the road that go up and down. It's go Okay, so here's the, the fourth class climb then. You can see the peloton are forty seconds behind, so they're not actually too far visibly behind. Two and a half kilometers to go on this climb. Just trying to conserve as much energy as possible. You are two kilometers from the top. The Duchère, just like the Côte de la Croix Rousse, offers one point for the mountains classification. So, Peloton is of course. On the is of course going to the the try and catch us now. So don't blame them. Got, they've got the opportunity. So we are now the peloton. So He's breakaway is over. But well, here we are at the top, and it's another point for Mahorich. You took the last mountain sprint. That's good. Keep it up. You're strengthening your hold on the polka dot jersey. Which is good. And, uh, I mean, Mahoric may as well the chill now, I would together. say. Everything will be played out in the final kilometres. But, yeah, we can get some energy back on this downhill section. It's nice. And there we go, five kilometres once again. To the next climb and cut Rod Rodslick behind us. Got less than 10 kilometers to go. So, what we could do with doing is getting everybody ready. So, I might switch to, to Lander now and see what we can do with him. Oh, he's well down, isn't he? Goodness me. What's he doing all the way back here? That's terrible. I mean, we haven't been with him at all today. There's something going on. These guys have stopped. No idea why that was. There's Cavendish. Much better now. Hopefully. There's only the Côte de la Croix Rousse to be climbed for the man to the front. It's looking good for him. So there we go. Just got this final climb to go. He's accelerating. And we're not that bothered about. Uh, Guys, at the top of the climb, the road doesn't drop down right away to the finish. There's two kilometers of flat, a short drop, and then a long two kilometers straight to the line. Yeah, we weren't bothered about Mohoric getting the point there. De Ghent managed it. But yeah, we need to desperately be in that group with the yellow jersey man. There it is. Bunched Peloton. Yeah, 
not long to go to the finish here. Is it tough not to be making off now? He's attacking. Let's not let him get away, lads. He's a danger for us. Uh, just going to have to go. Nothing we could do there. But yeah, Fugel Sang finishes in the top ten. We come through. Hopefully, don't lose too much. But again, damage limitation, really. I'm not that bothered about getting Cavendish's points. Don't think we would have got any anyway. So, once again, a bit of a disappointing stage. But uh, let's see what the effect's been. Succeeded in avoiding all the big balls to win today. So who won it today? You win. Okay. So Ganal still leading the way with the yellow. Cavendish still the green. Mahorich obviously leading the polka dot. Very strong day for, for Mahorich. But uh, let's see what the damage is. Hopefully not too severe. It was a stage on which we could really have shone. And we don't even finish in the top ten? It's a pity. We retain the green jersey. At least that's something. Well, only 15 seconds lost. I think that's... That's a bit of a positive in the end. I think that could have went very, very wrong. But uh, luckily for us, none of the big hitters uh, you know, won the stage. Um, I'll see finishing in the lead group all the main contenders and you know it just kind of shows we we've dropped off now five minutes 34 there is a big stage coming up though stage 15 i think is going to be a massive one for where this yellow jersey is gonna land we need <laughs> we need a, a lot of recovery today i don't think we're gonna get it though uh, it's better than i thought it was gonna be so potentially we go in the breakaway with Lander next time out. I really do think that that's got to be our, our best chance. But uh, anyway, if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like. Down below, it really does help out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily Tour de France content. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.